So we're going to be working on our closed graduation. So first thing to notice is that we're going to work just with comb tension. Um, I don't want to hold this down on my fingers to cut my baseline of the graduation because I really want this to be at a true zero degree. Um, and that'll be a great uh, foundation for me to build off of. So just in the comb, using the comb just to hold the hair nice and steady, using the point of my scissor, a little backhand technique through there, just to get a nice perfectly straight line. Um, and really, I, I just wanna make sure I get this line as straight as possible. Then in the dry cut, I can go in and really define that line and make it even more perfect later. But we're gonna be working on this graduation horizontally. Uh, the reason we like to do this is because it's gonna help us just stay a little bit more consistent with the shape of the haircut. So um, our elevation will be slightly below 90 degrees. And one thing that you're gonna notice as we cut the graduation is um, you don't wanna keep holding everything way up in the air. You gotta focus, see the head shape turning and dipping down a little bit. So you'll notice my first section that I take, right now you're gonna notice that it's coming just slightly below that 90 degree point. Find the guide. So I'm gonna make that cut. Then as I work my way down the head, my elevation will look like it lowers, but really the head is changing. So my elevation is staying the same, but it looks like it goes lower just because of the change in the, the head shape. So I'm really just trying to keep the weight within the haircut consistent. So working our way through, still working horizontally. My hand you'll see is raising um, because the head shape is starting to curve away from me. So now my elevation is gonna go up. So it's really about looking at the head shape and how it's turning um, is how I'm gonna determine where I'm gonna hold the hair. Again, my hand drops, but that's just because the head, um, the head shape drops down. Finish off the back portion. You'll notice that my hand is much higher at this point. And I'm just taking a little bit of hair at a time. I don't, um, you don't wanna take all that hair at once because that's gonna throw you off. You're gonna lose your guide. Just grab a little bit of hair, bring it down together, and then you'll be able to see your guide a lot better. Now we're gonna go through and cross check. Uh, the way that we're gonna do this is just slight diagonal back. I mean, when we cut the hair, it was a horizontal, but slight diagonal forward. So I'm gonna go back on a diagonal back and just clean that line up. Important thing here is just to make sure that as you're holding the hair out, the elevation is the same as when you cut it in the first place so that you're not changing the shape at all. Going through vertically, checking the higher um, part of the haircut, top part of the haircut. Now we're gonna start working on the other side. Same thing, working horizontally, slight diagonal forward, grabbing up just a little bit of hair at a time so I can really see that guide in there, not overwhelming myself with a bunch of uh, hair in the haircut. Again, watch my hand as I take my first section, where my hand is, and then as I get to the last part of the section where you're gonna see my hand drop. Just following that head shape, making sure that my elevation is consistent so I get a consistent um, weight distribution in the haircut. There we go, dropping the hand. I really just wanna work this until I get to the division line in the head. So still working horizontally. And my horizontal section is almost almost turning vertical. Once that happens, you're pretty much at the division line. 
So that's when you're gonna um, then just go through and do your cross checking. So this will be my last section that I caught here. Do one more. There we go. Drop my hand down a little bit. diagonal back just go through and just dust in the ends if you see a long hair in there you got to go back in and cut it the right way but just going through cross checking dusting off those ends just cleaning it up making it nice and perfect we're going to go through vertically check it that way what I'm really looking at here is uh, that everything is coming straight back and I'm not over directing it whatsoever because if I over direct the hair when I'm cross checking it and I make a cut, I'm totally changing the whole entire haircut. So now going through horizontally again, bringing that hair back and just connecting it right into the back of the head. See how many times I comb the hair, kind of combing it over and over. What I'm really doing is scooping those little tiny hairs from the base of the head to make sure that we don't have any stray hairs. I'm sure all of us have cut hair before and got to the end we had one straggly long hair hanging out. And that's really, you know, just make sure I'm nice and consistent with the combing and working that comb through the head. Uh, make sure that we get every single hair caught exactly where we want it to be. I'm just doing a little bit, a sort of a cross check at this point, uh, giving a slight elevation to the hair, just so it's not so heavy because we cut everything at a zero degree uh, before. So just giving it a nice, tiny little bit of layering. Now we're gonna go through horizontally again, over direct everything to the back. So we're pushing that weight towards the front of the head. That's really why this is uh, considered to us a closed, um, closed haircuts closing off the face we're pushing all that weight towards towards the face horizontally over directed back pushing that weight forward for me one thing to really make sure is when you're cutting a graduation, especially when you're trying to push the weight to the front, it's just not to over direct it too far and try to push your limits too much because gravity's gonna wanna pull that hair down and the more weight you throw into it, the heavier it's gonna look. We've all seen those uh, graduated bob haircuts walking around with the dog ear kind of floppy look to it and not, nothing about that is flattering and we definitely wouldn't want that to happen you know within our haircut and if you're over directing it too far back let's say we bring that front of the hair all the way back to the center back it's just going to be too much weight going forward so it's kind of why we go through and we just do a nice little layer um in there lightens it up a bit and uh, allows the weight to fall a lot lighter towards the face clean look to it. Now we're just going to take the front and just soften it. We're going to over direct it. We're going to take a piece from the other side. So you saw that as our guideline and then just comb everything over and just give it a nice little cut from that just to soften it even more. Give it a nice little elevation directly over the parting. So, um, we're gonna give it a 90 degree elevation straight up and we're gonna over direct the rest of the hair as we move across the forehead, we're gonna push that over the parting as well. So it'll give us a nice little angled fringe, um, still a long fringe, not cutting anything short here, um, but it's 
softens the front so it's not falling too heavy for your guest. Now we smoothed it all out. So now you're gonna see me go in just with the point of the scissor and really work that line. Um, this is one thing as a hairdresser that took me um, a while before I found out that really the, the most solid line is gonna come in the dry cut and you're gonna really be able to polish it off. So just going in there, I'll keep combing and then working that line some more. Just using the point of the scissor really give myself a, a sharp look to the haircut. And that's the finished outcome. It's the closed graduation. Uh, gratitude education. Bye.